Hi all, I am uh, Jetting Johnson, Assistant Professor from the Department of uh, Mechanical Engineering of uh, Rajagiri School of Engineering and uh, Technology. Here is a session on how to use this Autodesk uh, Fusion 360 software in order to create a nut and bolt assembly. So for that, initially we'll be creating a component, a nut component and another component bolt. Later, we will be assembling both these components together. Firstly, I will be showing the drawing of the assembly. So here we can see, so this is uh, the bolt and this one is the nut. So this is generalized dimension. So here, for this practice, I am taking the diameter as 12. So you can find the 1.732 times of this diameter 12. So in order to draw this hexagon. And similarly, you can see the thickness of this nut is about this D, that is a 12 mm. And for the bolt head, you can see the thickness is up to 0.8 times D. So you have to calculate all these values and finally you will be able to draw and model using the software. So here, first I am going to draw this nut portion, nut component. So for both the bolt and nut, you can see this is uh, this view. From this end, you will be able to see this view for both nut and bolt since it is a hexagonal nut as well as bolt. So for that, you need to calculate this value, 1.732 times of D. Then you can take this Autodesk uh, Fusion 360 interface. Here, on top of it, you can see a data panel icon. So I am going to create a new project. So for that, I am going to give the name as nut and uh, bolt assembly. Then press enter. And you can double click on that. So here in this nut and bolt assembly, I have to create the nut component first, then the bolt component. So I'm going to proceed like that. So for that, we have to create the sketch. Before that, I'm going to create a new component. So I'm naming it as nut, then press OK. So here we can see the nut component and whatever we are going to draw, it will be coming uh, underneath that of this nut. First, I am going to create the sketch. So there is an icon here also, and uh, it is tab. So in this tab, you will be able to see the create, automate, modify, sample, configure, construct, inspect, insert, select. And out from this all, I am going to select the create sketch tab. Then I am going to select this plane. Then from the drawing, you can see, so this is a, the hexagon that we are going to draw. So for that, you can see create. From that create, you can see the polygon circumscribed polygon you have to select. Then you have to draw that hexagon with a radius of 11. Because from the drawing, it is given as 1.732 times of diameter. So diameter taken here is 12. So it will be almost 20.9 something value. So for the standard size, for the fastening device, it is coming up to 22 mm. So I am taking that value instead of 20 point something value. And the radius it is asking. So out of this 22 mm diameter, so radius, I am going to give it as 11. Then press enter. Then you can finish the sketch by pressing this or clicking this finish sketch then you will be able to see all those features which need to be created on this drawing. So after that, you have to extrude this uh, nut. So from the drawing, you can see it is D. The thickness of this nut is D. 
so you can type here the D is taken as uh, 12 so press enter so you'll be getting a hexagonal not the initial part then you can s we need a small hole at the center because we have to assemble it together with this bolt so for that I'm going to select this face then create sketch you can directly click it from here and draw a circle from the center point so the diameter it is 12 that we have taken then finish the sketch then extrude it so here it is asking so select so from the dialog box you should be able to do this activities on the basis of what the dialog box is asking so profiles you have to select this profile so I am selecting this profile to be extruded but the arrow is uh, showing upwards but here we need a hole so I am going to give negative value of the thickness of this nut it is 12 so negative 12 so it will be coming as a, a hole instead of an extruded portion then press enter so you can see the hole here and uh, in order to orient to see the various uh, phases and various points of this component you can use the shift button along with the scroll button of the mouse then for zoom in and zoom out you can use the control button along with the scroll button of the mouse now the next thing is you have to create a thread because we have to tighten it against that bolt so we need a thread inside internal thread so for that we have to go here create you can see the option here is thread then we have to select the face you can see this activated select we have to select it so I'm going to select this face then in order to see as a real thread so we have to click on this model and full length the entire length has to be threaded then automatically when you select that face all details we have entered it will be coming by default so the size m12 means the metric thread so metric thread means the values given are in millimeters and you can see 1.75 is the pitch uh, you can see the distance between the crusts or troughs then you can see there, there are two types of threads right hand and left hand so we are taking just a right hand thread you press ok now we can see the internal thread the next thing you need to have is this chamfered circle it's not sharp you can see there's a chamfering happening on that uh, face of that nut so for that I have to create the sketch and uh, I have to select which plane need to be taken or selected for drawing so I am selecting this plane so after selecting that plane the view will be like this only then we have to create a small triangle in order to cut the small portion from this end but we are not having any midpoints or initial points like so, uh, sort of points so for that we have to project it so here for projecting those points we can here we can use this create then uh, project and uh, here it is asking which is the geometry and I'll, I am going to take this geometry this line then okay then I'm going to draw a line so you can see the different points are now showing by this software so I'm taking this midpoint and the initial radius of that inscribed circle of the hexagon is 11 so I'm going to give 11 for that length of that line then after that I'm going to cut this small section so here the length is indicated or activated now for dimensioning but that length is uh, not significant but the angle is significant so I'm, I have to give 45 degrees from that side so you can press the tab button so the dimension automatically comes to that point then you can press uh, simply type 45 degrees and press enter then we have to complete this triangle like this 
then finish sketch. So if you orient, you can see how it is coming. So here we can say a small section is cut from that portion, the circumference of that portion. Then you can see there is an option which is called as the board. So the profile is automatically selected. If it is not coming, so you have to click on that profile, then select which is the profile to be revolved. Then it is asking here axis. So we have to select which is the axis. So I am going to get with respect to that central axis, the entire circumference. So we have to select that central axis. Then uh, press OK. So now we can see that chamfered sections on the top of this nut. Now we are going to save this component. So you can see the nut and bolt are simply its location. So I am going to save by naming it as nut. Then save it. So on the left hand side you will be finding that component, this nut. Then I am going to model the second component. So for that you can see there is a plus symbol here. So it will give you an, an another another interface. So in that interface I will be drawing the next component. So create new component. Then you have to rename it as bolt. Then OK. So here we can see the bolt is coming here. Then we have to create the sketch. So from the drawing, we can see, so this is the bolt. So this one is the nut and this one is the bolt. So bolt head is having the same view as this nut here. So you can see this uh, same drawing. You can use it for creating the bolt head. So 1.732D times of this diameter 12. But the thickness to be extruded is 0.8 times D. So that is the thing you have to understand. So this is the bolt head. So create the sketch. So I'm going to select this plane, then similar to nut. I'm going to create a polygon, the circumscribed polygon. So you should be exactly aligning like this. So at the 11 mm is the radius of that hexagon. Then finish the sketch. So the extrude option will be coming here. And uh, here it is 0.8 times the diameter. So that will be 9.6 since D is 12. So I'm typing 9.6 and press enter. So the bolt head is ready. And uh, we can see here a shank length or a, a the length to be extruded from this bolt head. So for that I have to select this space. Then create sketch. Select the circle. And, and uh, I'm going to draw the circle with the diameter 12. Then uh, finish the sketch, go to extrude and here the, bo the bolt length I am randomly taking it as 50 mm. So that is from this end to this end, the bolt length. So 50 mm I am going to take. So profile you have to select which is the profile. So this is the profile. So you have to type 50 then press enter. So that bolt model is almost uh, ready. Then you can see there is a chamfered section here that is up to point, uh, 0.1 times of this D. So I am going to create a chamfer. So for that here there is a tab which is modify. So select on that modify. You can see there are various features available. So you have to select this chamfer. Then which is the edge. So I am going to select this edge asking the edge so I'm going to select this edge and it's 0.1 times T so that is 1.2 then press enter so here we can see a chamfer at the end of this bolt length then we need a thread at this uh, location so I'm going to give a full thread full length thread I'm going to give so for that we have to create the thread option is available here and uh, here it is asking the faces. So this is the face I'm going to select. And in, or, in order to see it as a real thread, so I'm going to click on the model. So it will become coming like this and full length. And here we can see the size of uh, 
this uh, the thread will be coming automatically the metric thread everything the same as the nut thread then uh, press ok so here we can see the external thread on the bolt and here one more thing we need to complete is the chamfer you can see on the top of this bolt head we need a chamfer similar to this nut so for that the same step we are going to repeat as we have done for nut here also here I have to select the plane for that we have to select the sketch then you can orient in order to select the right plane so that is the plane to be selected so the view will be like like this then you can see here also there are no points to be can be considered to be a reference point so for that we have to select the project option from the create so here we can see the geometry to be selected so I am going to select this line press ok then we have to draw a line similar to that uh, chamfer section that we have seen for the nut a small triangle we are going to cut from the circumference so from here I am going to draw a line of initial uh, radius length that is 11 then again taking that line option then I am going to give so pr you can have to press the tab button so the angle will be activated so 45 degrees then now I am going to complete this small triangle then finish the sketch so we can orient it to see how much it is removed So we can see a small section has been uh, removed from the uh, from this uh, section, a small section. Then you can go for uh, revolving it. So we have selected the profile already. Then uh, the axis to be selected. So this is the axis, uh, the central axis we have to select and press OK. So now the sample is ready. So now we have completed the drawing of uh, nut as well as the bolt. Then uh, you have to save it. So location is the same, the nut and bolt are simply, so you have to type bolt. Then save it. So here we can see the bolt is coming up on the left hand side. Now we are going to start the assembly part. We are going to start the assembly part. So for that, we have already created the bolt. So I am going to drag this nut component towards this uh, bolt model. So you can see the bolt and uh, nut are available here. You can use this arrow button in order to shift the location of this nut. So you have to press OK. So it will be seen like this, uh, two components. Then you can see on top of the interface, you can see this assemble tab. So in the assemble tab, there is an option which is called as joint. Select the joint. And here you can see position and motion. So for the nut and bolt assembly, the nut has to rotate and it has a linear motion also. So position, first of all, we have to select the first component. So I am going to select this nut as the first component. So you can orient various angles in order to see the exact face or axis or point to be assembled. So if you bring the cursor here, you can see the space is already selected. And uh, when you select uh, this face, then only the center, exact the center can be located. So when you move this cursor, you have to press the control button in order to select the center. So you have to select this face of the nut and then press control, then select the center. Then here already the component 1 is ready. Then we have to select the component 2, which is the bolt. Then we have to select that center portion. So for that, we need to orient uh, this bolt. Then select the center. Then 
can continue here. So here we can see the motion which is provided, which is to be cylindrical. So if you see the cylindrical motion is provided, cylindrical means the rotation and also the linear movement. So the center axis, everything is okay. So we have selected the exact center. Then the linear motion. So again, see joint motion limits. So if you see here, the linear motion. So if you see the preview motion, so it is moving upwards. So only we need to move along the bolt length. So we have to select the minimum. Minimum means the bolt, uh, the bottom face of this bolt head. Here we can see this is the bot uh, bottom face. So we have to move only up to that face. So I am going to, since the bolt length is 50, I am going to give that minimum size as minus 50. So we can see it is resting exactly on that face. Similarly, the maximum if you are selecting, so it is just touching the tip of that bolt. But we need to uh, move exactly to this portion, the top portion. So the thickness of this nut is 12. So you can give minus 12. So here we can see it's uh, exactly sitting on that point. Then all limits we have provided. So all limits means the rotational limit as well as the linear motion limits. So you can just check the preview limits. So now we can see that the uh, nut is properly assembled together with that bolt length. So this is how to assemble bolt and nut assembly. We can uh, press OK. So the cylindrical motion that we have given, so that is mentioning here. So you can save it and uh, we can export this file. We can export this file. So you can type the bolt, nut and bolt assembly. Then there are various file extensions we have to select the first one for description archive files. Then you can export to this location, to the downloads so location. Then you will be able to share or upload this document for, for validation as well. So, so this is how to save this uh, document. You can export it from this point. So this is about the assembly of nut and uh, bolt.